I came into prison the wrong way, charged wrongly, and uh, suffering an injustice. So I underwent a trial, a long trial of eight years. That's injustice. I was sentenced and convicted to suffer death. That's injustice. Until I fought for it and got the justice I deserved. So I, I know what injustice means to someone's life. In 2005, I was sent to commit a prison having, uh, for an offense which I believe was framed. After an eight year trial, I was convicted and sentenced to suffer death. That's the death sentence. William was one of the students with Africa Prisons Project. He was a first year student when I met him and uh, he kept on pestering me, uh, pushing me to join the program. But I, I, I was notified in, in a value limit at the beginning until when he gave me a book, a criminal law book, and I found something similar to what I had been nagging about in court and I was interested. So I joined the course and this course gave me the knowledge which I used to argue in my appeal. At the same time, it gave me an opportunity to interact with the law students and the law students helped me do the written submissions for my appeal. When I went to class, I found a different atmosphere. I found officers sitting next to inmates and I was like, ah, am I in the wrong place? Am I in the same prison? I even stepped back. They had to call me back because I thought, no, it's not real, but it was. So when I entered, I found others in groups discussing issues, uh, legal, legal matters um, in, in discussion groups, and they were mixed up, inmates and officers. And then there was that aura, that hair of laugh in the class, air of uh, common understanding, you no, know, they were all behaving as human beings. They were like they are equals. It was so good to remain in a class where you can share with the officers instead of where we were fighting with them, the ones. The interaction we've had since then with the University of West England and their students has been very impactful in the results we are we are posting. We've, we've managed to have first class scores in our exams since uh, we studied, the students started visiting our classes. And that's, that's a testimony by itself. So I, I, I don't even need to explain more that uh, they are so impactful on our education in prisons um, more than what can be seen practically because it's there to be seen by everyone. And I encourage uh, the relationship we have with um, this university to continue. I completed my studies um, in 2019 and um, I'm yet to graduate, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to graduate this year. I dedicate the law degree to the community, and the society, those who are facing injustice. I want to be a, become a barrister and fight for the rights of people facing injustices around the world. That's who I am and what I want to be and what I do currently, even now. That's what I'm doing, fighting injustice in my own ways and encouraging people to speak out about injustices around the world so that they can be known and we can be able to fight them.